Don't miss any Cavs game. Stream the Cavs on your laptop or mobile device wherever you are. Presented by T-Mobile on the Valley Sports app. Well, um, about 20 years ago, maybe a little more, I received a phone call and I was contacted uh, by uh, the crew. There was the crew and there was the staff of a movie that was being made, a movie being uh, that was written and being produced by a woman who had contacts in Hollywood, a Clevelander. Her name is Julie Matthews. And I wanted to have her on on one of these last shows that I'm doing because she wanted me to read for a part in her movie as a news director of a television station. And, Julie, I had to have you on before I said goodbye to everybody here. God bless you. How are you doing, old pal? I'm doing good. How are you, Bruce, my good friend? Well, nostalgic, uh, uh, a little emotional with these last shows, of course. But um, let, let's go back and inform the viewers about it, because I'll never forget reading uh, for the part. And I was using my normal fluctuation like I do on radio and television. And I got to tell you, viewers, I learned so much because Julie and the director, Chris Noyce, were saying, no, 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 let it come to you. Don't go over the top. We'll tell you. And it was a learning experience for me. And it took me a while, but at least I did well enough that you gave me the part. Yeah, yeah. Well, we haven't made the movie yet. So let me give you, Bruce, and the viewers a... Uh, a, an update on Supernatural. The movie's called Supernatural, spelled S-O-U-P, like soup you, drink, you eat, drink, soup, Supernatural. And uh, what we did was we were looking for private investors. We had had offers for the script, offers from John Travolta, uh, many. We had a bunch of different offers, but we wanted to make the movie ourselves and we still do. So we were looking for independent investors and we still are. And I've got two guys in Hollywood now really pushing, you know, trying to find some money to make our movie. It's a... Uh, it doesn't take a lot. It's not a multi-million dollar budget. It's a small million dollar budget. And um, so we're still looking. And so what we did was, as you know, Bruce, I'm very good friends with a lot of classic television stars that we were going to put in the movie. So Lou Ferrigno, who played the Incredible Hulk, was one of our, my good friends who said, what you need to do is you need to make a trailer. You need to give investors a look at what you can do. Show Chris Noyce is a first time director. You need to show people that uh, Chris knows how to direct. And so you need to do a trailer that looks like you made the movie already, but you didn't really make it yet. So we made this trailer. And so I had to cast it, you know, like I would cast the movie. So uh, Lou was supposed to be in it, but then he got a, a call to do a movie in Spain. So he couldn't actually do the be in the trailer. So I'm looking for these people to be the news director. And one of the news directors was Mark Goddard, who uh, played Major Don West on Lost in Space. And you were the other guy. So I read you and I thought you and Chris just loved you because he was a big fan anyway already. So he said, yeah, Bruce Drennan, let's get Bruce. So I met you and with a few little acting lessons, which I thought you took direction pretty well. Um, we put you in the trailer and then the trailer won a Golden Globe, uh, a, a uh, Golden Trailer Award uh, at the awards in Hollywood at the El Capitan Theater. Chris went and uh, that was very exciting to win, you know, a um, yeah. to be nominated. Yeah, and which is a branch of the Academy Awards for those yeah. of you that may not be aware. And uh, we we want to uh, we want to show you the trailer. I, I think the best way, since we can't do the audio of this, Julie, why don't you narrate through it? Um, let, let, let's air it now and take it away, Julie. Just narrate rate your way through it so the trailer let me just tell you that um can i say the reason we're not airing the trailer is because uh 
you know, music licensing is a very tricky uh, deal. And uh, although we own all the music and actually the soundtrack of this movie is so exciting because we've got most of our friends are the ones who are on the trailer, the music, and the music's fantastic. It's fabulous. And we have DC Talk. That's Kevin Max. There you are. There's Bruce. Yeah. A little bit younger, but, and that's Kevin Max from DC Talk. He was playing our Messiah. The movie is about what happens in a small town newsroom when it's rumored that the Messiah is in their town serving soup at a church festival. And so this news reporter, she's trying to nail down this guy and she's chasing him and she's resentful because she thinks it's a stupid story and, but she's still looking for the guy. And, you know, one of the news people says, I'm sure our Lord would not be, you know, smoking and looking like a sex crazed rock star. And you're saying there to, you know, get him on camera. You got to get this guy on camera. That's Kristen Richardson. She's married to Kevin Richardson from the Backstreet Boys. That's Kevin Max from DC Talk. And that's Mark Goddard from Lost in Space. And of course we have Bruce in the movie. And uh, the music is so phenomenal. So I would encourage people to go and watch the trailer. Um, We have links all over the place. I have it on my Facebook page. Um, you could just go to Juliet Matthews, J U L I E T Matthews with two T's on Facebook and, uh, click on the link to watch the trailer. Uh, the trailer's on YouTube. Um, but, um, unfortunately when you put in supernatural official movie trailer, you get a lot of other stuff before you ever get to our actual trailer. So it's better to just find the link on, on Facebook. Bruce, I can uh, put, um, the link on your Facebook page too. So people can just go to the link and click on it and watch it. Good, good. So and you it's know, out there. it's out there because we're still trying to raise money to make this movie. And now that you're retiring, you'll have plenty of time to <laughs> go into production, right? Well, you know what, Julie, I, I, what I, I got to tell the viewers when I uh, called Julie and it had been so many years since we had spoken, and I, I called her and told her about my decision and the announcement here, uh, um, uh, hanging it up on the TV show. And I was shocked and surprised to, to hear that the project was still alive. And I said, well, what about the fact that we've all aged so? And uh, she said, well, the younger people in the, we will have to recast. But she said she'd walk into any bar and see my puss up on the screens in the sports bars around town. And she said, but my, and my character, it doesn't matter really, I guess, how old I am. So I'm really, hey, just give me a call. I got all kinds of time, Julie. I know, I know. We definitely want to keep you in the film. And uh, we really, really hope to get into production for this movie uh, soon. And uh, like I said, I got two guys in Hollywood working on investors. And anybody out there that wants to like play, has play money to be in the movie business, uh, we're looking for, you know, private investors so we can make our movie. But and once uh, again, how do they contact you in that regard? You know, I think Facebook is probably the best way to find me. I mean, I have a really easy email address. It's gold2 at AOL.com. Uh, so you can email me. But, but you know, it's Juliet Matthews, uh, Juliet, J-U-L-I-E-T, Matthews, two T's, as you can see there, um, on Facebook and friend me or just click on the link. It's right there on my Facebook page. And uh, we can talk about it. Um, but it was very exciting to have you in the film. You know, you're a local icon and everybody knows you. And, you know, I had, you know, so I had Mark, Mark Goddard, who was Major Don West on Lost in Space, who many people like get really excited about this guy. So, but when I'm telling people who's in the movie and they say, you got Bruce Drennan, oh my God. You know, we get like really excited about Bruce. So. And you did a great job. You know, it was fun. It was oh, great. It, it, I really am looking forward to it. Uh, God bless. Thanks so much. Right, I had to share this with our viewers as I'm departing, Julie. Um, look forward to hearing from you very soon. Happy yeah. New Year, partner. Happy New Year. Thank you. Hope we have a good New Year.
Julie Matthews. All right, when we come back, it's time for you know who, you know what, out front and locked.